All right, guys, we are back and took a little bit of a break. I took a nap for like five hours, so it was more like I went to sleep. Uh, I returned a package to, uh, to Amazon and I'm ready to go. So now we need to meet Beetle at the up here. Beetle is essentially, I don't get this part with Beetle. He's essentially useless. Eileen could have just told us where to go because Beetle is 100% useless in this part. But that's all right. We'll talk to good old Beetle. Hey, buddy. That's it. Now follow me. Yeah, Beetle, I'm already up here, you idiot. I'm not down there anymore. Beetle, okay. Okay. Yeah, see, look, it's just, Beetle is just like the most pointless character. I think he's the most pointless character in the entire game. He's more pointless than the NPCs, villagers. I'm going with that. I He is more useless than those people. Those NPC villagers that have no dialogue, they don't say anything, he's more useless than them. Okay, Chrome Castle. Alter, there are signs uh, this has been operated before. Uh, I arrived at the Crone Castle Altar. Uh, you found the strange device in the shape of an orb. The power resonating within the orb seems to be linked to the top of the spire. Now we go through this little loading screen. It's really weird because this is like, there's only like two of these in the whole game where you interact with something and then you, you kind of fast travel to a different location. It's kind of... I don't know, it's not, it's kind of, it's different, because it only does it a couple times in the game. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot, they made this a scroll. We can put on our gloves, so we got 1712 right now. Not anything crazy, but, but it's decent, it's aight. I don't think, does anything happen here? No, nothing really happens, you just do the scroll... So I don't need to adjust the audio here. Plays like a little sound cue. That's about it. So, go ahead and turn this in. Feels as if the angry spirits have finally found peace. You can sense the spite of the spirits dissipate as they find peace and comfort. Uh, the spirits send their warm regards for your help. However, there are still pockets of darkness you sense for the ventral spirits of Old Crone. Now it's going to fast travel us back. I kind of wish they would have just made some stairs up there. Would have, or like an elevator. There are elevators in this game, so I feel like they could have made an elevator something. But I guess it's a broken down castle. It's supposed to be broken down old. Almost, it's supposed to be like a, an outpost for the those guard units, the, com the commander's units. All right, here we go. So, got an unlocked achievement. So just, is that it? There's no reward for the achievement? All right, but we got a Garion stuff. A Garion stuff is what I actually use on my on my source Sork main on uh, on Xbox. Oh, where have you been? I guess I was stuck in this castle alone. Guess I shouldn't have hoped that I'd get out of this place in one piece. We should find a way out this instance. Why are you looking at me like that? Hurry up and lead the way, or else I'll have to find my own way out. Beetle, I sincerely wish you would. Hee hee hee, there was an explosion long ago at Crone Castle. Does the stark energy really look like the vengeance of those spirits? Now take a look at these shiny stones. Don't they feel similar to the dark energy found in Crone Castle? Hee hee hee. Don't worry, this stone is something that will help us. Can't you feel the awesome powers that are hidden within it? You can use them whenever you want. Uh, hee hee hee. That is whenever you feel like you need to become stronger. Okay, so now I gotta talk to Beetle again. Oh, my butt. Do you have any idea what I went through after you disappeared? Ugh, they shot their arrows at my butt. Darn these people. Or darn those people. I want to get my revenge on the person that shot my butt. However, how will how will know I know where they are going to shoot from next? Please go and avenge me in my stead. I'm asking you to go and beat up everyone that hold that's holding an arrow. Oh, I kind of... I semi get this quest now. I didn't actually didn't actually get that quest before. So I need to kill Actually, is this a different quest than normal for the beginning of the game? Hello? Are you gonna Oh my gosh, that dude straight eight. This dude straight eat! What? 
I straight these dudes eat. Okay, these dudes straight eat some damage. That is that is some next level. And I didn't get credit for that kill. I've never seen it this populated. PlayStation definitely looks like it's going to have more people than Xbox. I don't remember Xbox being this crowded in the beta. And, like, this isn't at, like, peak launch time either anymore. But there is a lot of people here. Things seem to be running a little bit more smoothly than when I was at the very beginning of the game and there was, like, 5 million people in that opening area. I need to find archers. Hello, buddy. So back... Okay. I'm trying to learn these skills a little bit better here. I attracted everybody. Slam them into the ground. Kind of hold that. I don't know if that... That slower version of that, where it kind of holds in the air, if that, uh, if that deals more damage, or if there's a distinct purpose to it, but it is something to note. I'm assuming it does slightly more damage, like, if I hold that in midair. I'm assuming it does slightly more damage than just the base. Slam you into the ground. There's three out of five. There's a scout over here. Come here, buddy. <laughs> that attack's kind of cool. I kind of like that attack. It's it's different. Looks like you can charge up a lot of the attacks, which is really nice. If you have them knocked down like that, you can kind of charge them up to get extra damage. And the knockdown ability is really nice. Alright, so we leveled up to 16. Gonna get that bonus XP, because we're at night now. Unlock some more skills, but I should probably wait, because we're gonna need more skill points anyway to do much. Beastly Wind Slash. Interesting. Just trying to practice out some different things. Pretty much what I'm trying to do early on with the Berserker is to nail down at least a little bit of something. I know that I probably won't get it down perfectly, but uh, I can at least nail down a little bit. A little bit of a rotation, I guess. I move into the ground. Is that actually a jump slam? Like, hold on. If I jump, no. It just kind of looked like one. Thought I thought if I jumped and hit RB, it would do that. It would do a slam. Maybe it will. Maybe it was on cooldown. Hold on. Oh, that's not what I wanted. No, I don't think it will. That's all right. I thought I thought I was on to something kind of cool, but don't really need that skill. Hello, buddy. Spawn in. Hold on. Okay, I just have to get out of here. They changed this quest up a little bit. Uh, used to have to talk to, used to have to talk to Beetle again, and then he would have you kill a couple of more enemies. They made, they made that a little bit more streamlined, where they were just like, yeah, just kill the, just kill the soldiers, or the archers, and get yourself out of here. I'm gonna fight these guys a little bit. For anybody that's been watching me for a long time, okay, you got it. You got to admit I'm using skills a little bit more in combo here. On the, I I'm kind of happy with my berserker play. I feel like I'm, I'm uh, you know, I'm not just like RB and RT spamming. I actually, have some unique skills that I'm doing here. How did I do that one thing? I wanna. What's that? How did I do that? Ah, there we go. Look at that. <laughs> I I got it. I'm using it. Phew! I feel great. My wound? Don't worry about it. It's just a flesh wound, huh? What are you staring at? Um... 
think I have to... Ooh, maybe... Yeah, see, this is like the other stuff that you used to have to do. You had to secure an escape route while dealing with the enemy forces, and then, and then you defeated three rookie soldiers and a senior soldier, and then you return. You met Emma Vartali in uh, in Velia. But now I don't quite know. Beetle. Beetle. What am I supposed to do right now? Because I don't have any quests. Might go back and do this to see. Ah, here we go. Black Spirit gonna come in clutch for us. Okay, so don't forget you can use this stone to get stronger. You'll find that you that'll help you bring out the best in your weapons. Hehe. <laughs> we should leave the castle now that we're done here. That idiot over there won't move until you get going. Yeah. Okay. So I feel like. I feel like that's not the quest that I should... I don't know. Alright, let's go back. Let's go back. It's like messed up. That's fine. I can kill guys out here. Just wants us to kill six enemies. Easy enough. One down. Hello, buddy. That's a little bit beefier. Hello. Can I get you to come over here with this guy? And then have both of you come over here? Come on, guys. Follow me. Come on. Come on. Let me just fight for... Oh, one guy ran away. Alright, whatever. Send you into the ground. Charge that. I like how a lot of the Berserker's attacks have charges. That's really nice, in my opinion. It kind of gives you, I guess, options. I don't know if options is the right word, but it gives you... Can I use this skill to get my health? Oh, nice. Hey, Scout, chill. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to farm my health back from you. Alright, now you gotta die. Slam you into the ground. Okay, so now... Now we gotta go talk to Beetle. Oh. Have to go back in here. I know where he's supposed to be, but... Is it gonna teleport him back there? I, I know what I have to do next is I have to go... To go back to the main area, and the ma I have to go back to Velia, and then they send me to the next, they send me towards Hydel. But I usually thought you had to do this. That's why, I guess I do have to do it, kind of. Only game didn't make, didn't make that abundantly clear that I had to do this. Because it gives you, yeah, here's Beetle. See, this is what I was talking about. This was like the OG quest that I was talking about. Okay, Beetle. Let's go. I gotta kill three rookies and one senior. Get you out of the way. Yeah, I really like that everything... Um, everything has a charge for the Berserker. Makes things really nice. Oh, please don't jump off the edge. Oh my gosh, that was almost really bad. I guess I just threw one of them off the edge. Uh, you can have that, rookie. Run, Zerker. That's a senior. I'll look at my mini-map. Senior, senior. Gotta beat other people to the rookies. Come here, buddy. You're next. Come on, come on, other rookie, get over here. I get, I got credit for one, two of them, one of them. I got credit for one of them. I gotta kill this one. That's not what I wanted to do. It's all right, worked out all right. Okay. 
So now we can head on out of here. See if this fixes the quest. That was weird because they like updated it and they made it so like the second half is like a uh, black spirit quest, but if you don't do if you don't summon the black spirit in the meantime there, then you aren't going to accept that quest and it's going to stall out the Oops, not what I wanted to do. It's going to stall out the uh the progression because you need to do that in order to progress, obviously. Okay, Beetle. Phew, amazing. Just amazing. You never fail to impress. I have never seen them get so scared. Emma heard that we were safe and sound and returned to town to wait for us. We should go back. You've done what no one else could. Hold your head up high. This is something to be proud of. Okay, so now we are going to go back to Velia and meet, uh, meet up with Emma Bartali. So I'm going to see you guys in a second back in Velia. And we are back in Velia. It's time to talk to Emma. You've arrived safely. Good. Very good. I can't possibly thank you enough. My grandfather wishes to meet with you and thank you personally. As a descendant of the Bartali family, I must return to the farm, but I do hope we can see each other again. Okay. Hello, Igor. I knew there was something different about you. The look in your eyes set you apart from the other adventurers. However, I didn't expect that you would do this much for our family. On behalf of the Bartali family... I would like to sincerely thank you for everything you've done. I know it is not much, but please accept this as a small token of gratitude. Uh, let's see here. What's the rush? You're welcome to stay as long as you want. I see. Did you decide where to go next? If you're looking for a bigger town, you should go to Heidel, the capital of Serendia. Or Serendia. <laughs> also, Lord Domingat resides in Heidel. Ah, I suggest you meet Clorence before you set out on your journey. I'll personally request Clorence to provide you with whatever you need. Okay, so now we need to go and talk to Clorence over here at the stables. Alright. Kratos, is that your name? What kind of person are you? Hey, look who's here. The hero of Velia who defeated the goblins. I am honored to have you in my general store. I prepared some potions that you might need for your adventure. These will come in handy, Kratos. Follow the road leading to the gateway to Heidel, and then travel, travel south. You'll arrive before you know it, because you'll enjoy the view of the scenery on your way there. Once you arrive at the gateway, please meet with Kirkley. He'll help you. Okay, so what did she give me? She gave me just some more small potions. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to sell these rusty things. And I'm going to sell these briar helmets. And I'm going to sell the briar armor because I don't need that. Just clean up my inventory a little bit. Alright, so now we can put on the Agarian armor. Which is going to help a lot. Get us to 15. Also got some black stones. Another inventory expansion. Alright, so now we need to head on out to Kirkley. So I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead. All that Kirkley does is stop us and ask us, I think he, he makes a joke about not letting us pass, and then we head down here to some mines, they're like right here. I'm just going to go ahead and cut ahead to there, Kirkley is literally not important, he makes a couple of jokes and then tells you to keep going to, to the mines. So, I will see you guys in a moment. Okay, so we are down here at the... Um, northern guard camp there's some mines over here that we're about to go to that's where good old uh that guy that i skipped kirkley was uh all he does he makes a joke about igor he makes a joke about heidel and then he tells you to come meet jemka's worm bane down here so i saved you guys like a weird cut here and then uh, it's it's he's just a pointless npc he's like beetle all right jemka's are you from belia you are welcome here let me shake your hand did Kirkley send you this way? Well, in that case, welcome. Ha ha ha. You can go to Heidel, but I can make your stay there a lot more comfortable if you help me. If you go down the road behind me, there's a mine on the way. It used to have an abundance of gold, but there's little left now. Yet the situation in Heidel is so dire that even this small amount of gold is important. I look away for one second, those nasty imps took the place over. They haven't the slightest idea how to mine, and the thing is set to collapse at any moment. On my pride as a dwarf, help me with this, and I'll introduce you to someone worth your time. 
You know who my I'm gonna discover the northern the quarry. I'm gonna pay the energy. We got some new shoes. We got some Amerigo shoes. Uh, I'm gonna use the Ajirian for the set bonus. Uh, so we get attack speed plus two and casting speed level two because we have three pieces of Agirian armor. We have these Amerigo shoes, which gives us movement plus one. Not not that bad at all. I could upgrade weapon, but I just I'm just not gonna do it yet. Eh, well, as well as not bad. I'll do it. Whatever. We have two. They're free. It's a beta. It's free. Let's do it. Let's go ahead and enhance. Should I actually? I'll show the animation here. In the beta, because why not? Uh, now I'll turn it off, and there we go. Got that to plus two. So it was like 12 to 14 before. Now it's uh, 21 to 25, so we should be hitting a little bit harder now at least. I can't be, I won't be able to buy anything off the off the central market right now, so that's why I was more willing to invest my black stones for the purposes of leveling them up, because I'm sure people will get plus 15 in the beta, maybe, just maybe they'll get two Fry. Eh, someone might get duo. There's probably people that will straight play this all day, all night. So I would assume someone will get duo, but I would probably not expect anything past duo. And on the auction, I would probably not expect anything duo to pop up. People might get it for like their, their own, because there is PvP in this beta, so I'm assuming someone will attempt to be like just the most dominant PvP force ever. This is actually a decent place to farm. Um, I'm going to have a full-blown leveling guide for this game on PlayStation. Uh, when it drops, I'm going to have a leveling playthrough where all we're doing is leveling a character. Berserker might actually take the crown for that. I don't know, I really do actually like this character. I didn't think I'd like it, but this is actually pretty good. I can't I can't sit here, I can't lie. I actually really enjoy Berserker. Not that there's a reason for me to lie, but I do really like Berserker here. And I I I, I like the skills. They're they're kind of they're kind of easy, they're kind of basic, but uh, they're much easier than the sword, and so I really like that. I really love my sorceress, definitely my favorite character that I've played so far. We'll see how Ar Archer stacks up and Ranger, because I have not gotten to play a Ranger Awakening, and I have not got to play Archer yet, obviously, uh, with it not being out yet on Xbox. Look at them swinging around their pickaxes. Do they actually consider that a weapon? He he he. Uh, look at the cave up ahead. Uh, okay, this is okay. I gotta I gotta find safety so I can stop getting knocked out of my. You die. Let's come up here. Hopefully I can get this off. Uh, they look at the cave up ahead. Thanks to those stupid imps, the whole thing is about to collapse. Sounds fun if you ask me, but we need to get to Hydel. He he he. Well, go. We'll go and reinforce the mine. Don't worry. Just hammer where I tell you to. He he he. Okay. Kill these guys. I will protect you, Ranger. All right. So let's go ahead and repair these. Nice and easy. Here, I covered you. Now you cover. Oh gosh, I'm I'm picking up loot. I don't have any pets, so that's kind of the that's the worst part. I'm not getting any of the loot because I'm not. I don't have any pets. I'm so used to five pets on Xbox. That I'm I'm not I'm not used to having to pick up my loot. I'm not gonna be picking up my loot. Uh, that's some annoying stuff. I ain't doing it. Like, having to walk up to each individual enemy that I kill and loot them. Yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not about that. We'd be here, you guys would be here all day watching me loot enemies. No one needs to see that. Really, that's not a one-shot kill, that giant slam. Man, I... Every time I play char characters, I, I just... I like how they play. I would probably, of the characters that I have played, at least enough to form an opinion. My Sorceress is still one, then it's Lon, then it's Dark Knight, 
then it's probably Musa. I'm, tr I'm trying to make sure I don't forget anybody. Then it's Musa. Then it's then it's Ninja. It's probably Berserker. It's probably Zerker next. Zerker over Shy. Zerker over Witch. Zerker over Striker. Striker is pro Shy is my least favorite. Then it's probably Striker. I have some videos on Striker and I did enjoy playing it, but I I still don't really like Striker. So let's go up here and talk to old good old Jemkas. Hey buddy. Haha, ha, Kirkley sure does have a keen eye for people. Amazing that you single-handedly solved the imp issue in the mines. Are you planning to travel to Heidel? As promised, I want you to meet someone that can help you. Talk to Enrico Mancini. He's a guard in Heidel. You'll see him at the entrance. He's a nice person from Glish. He'll help you out. Okay, so how close are we to Heidel? We are really close. So we're just going to go ahead and run down there. We got some Agarian shoes. Probably is better to not put on the Agarian shoes because I already have the bonus going uh, for the attack speed and stuff. So I'm not going to go ahead and equip those. We did get another piece. Uh, we did get another black armor stone. So we're going to take this off and we're going to upgrade. Oh, this is a. Oh, it's an armor stone. Okay. Do I want to upgrade the Agarian armor? I'm going to go ahead and upgrade the Agarian armor. Throw that in do that and get that to plus one so that was at seven defense what's it at now 11 not bad not bad so we're up to 24 29 and we'll go ahead and run down to Heidel real quick here I don't quite I like I get that like you could go on to Heidel I don't quite get why he acts like I couldn't find it on my own it's literally like right here and it's a gigantic castle all right hello Enrico, you must be a new adventurer. We have some new faces on our wanted list, so give me a second. Hmm, seems like there isn't any problem. Where are you coming from, by the way? Jemka sent you. Ha ha ha. Glad to see he at least took a long enough break to refer someone over to me. I see. If you want to get settled in Heidel, I suggest you meet with meet the Loren family. Many members of the Loren family constitute the key members of Heidel's League of Merchants. Though their influence has waned as of late, Bobby Loren has been deeply concerned since the Jean League moved here from Calfian. Please, help Bobby Loren, and I'll do everything I can to repay this debt with honor. Would you help me? As of now, to be honest, I don't really have a choice, buddy, but yes, I will help you. Alright, is there any more Black Spirit gifts? No. I don't really care. Well, does he give me anything for that? Hold on. We'll accept that. And some some in the black spirit again. Complete that for that. Okay, that just gives me the Antanas Firefly, which is fine for night, but it I, I don't really find that it's all that necessary, but let's see what's up on the marketplace before I call it an episode here. See if anybody's posted anything fun. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, Axe. Yeah, there is some stuff up. Yuria stuff. The Yuria stuff is like a lot better than the Aswell, but I don't have any money because I'm not picking up anything. That's like the one issue with not having pets. It's like literally you pick up absolutely nothing, so you're relying on the game to give you some halfway decent stuff. Alright, sorry. I got interrupted, so time to end this video correctly. What I'm going to go ahead and do is just sell off some of this stuff. Um, I could probably sell some of the Agarian stuff on the auction. Uh, which I guess we could go take a look at real quick is listing some of this stuff. I don't think it's, it's not all that important. Uh, but, because uh, I'm not really sure who we're selling to. But a couple of these things, oh, it's because they don't have full durability. Uh, you're probably not getting sold. But I can list this thing, 50500 not bad. I'm just going to list it for the minimum. And someone actually... Someone actually needed it. So we don't have the value pack, obviously, so we're going to lose a bunch of money selling. So it is kind of what a, it's kind of whatever thing if I actually care about selling. But yeah, uh, without the value pack, it really hurts the value of actually selling stuff here in the beta because you're eating a massive loss. Like 30, you're missing you're, you're losing 30 percent not being able to sell for full price. But I'm just going to go ahead and sell all of that stuff. 
And now we can properly end this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop it a big old like if you did subscribe if you have not. I think this will be the final video for today. But please do check back tomorrow. I'll have three more beta videos as well as one uh, Xbox video. Uh, it's going to be more world bosses. So check back then if you're interested in any of that content. And then I will also have three more videos on Sunday for the beta. And... Um, then next week, whatever isn't uploaded of the nine, if nine videos isn't quite enough for um, to get me through the beta, we'll continue it through next week. Obviously, the beta will be over, but I'll continue to upload one beta video every day just to uh, get us through until it fully releases. And then obviously we have Archer and Kama Sylvia on Wednesday. I'll be up as soon as that stuff launches to get on and start an Archer character as well as start Kama Sylvia on my Sorceress. So I hope you guys do check out that stuff as well. Uh, and then obviously I'll have massive videos launched for uh, the main release of the game um, on the 20th for early access. So stop rambling on. I will catch you guys tomorrow. Peace.